Yo, what's going on, guys? Second Buckle here, bringing you another game. Second, what happened to your hair? I cut it, like you do. But it's gone. Yeah, yeah, bro. Cause I, cause I cut it. Big Sage. So this video, we're going to be going over kecking, and we're going to be talking about how you can kek on all enemies with kecking and do the lol kek W all over them. Let's jump into it. I keep getting asked about this on stream and I'm tired of answering the question. So I'm making a video on my Kaching on my own, my Battle Pass Welkin only account at AR49. This is not the best build in the world for Kaching, but it is a build that I use for Kaching and I find it to work pretty well. So for Kaching for weapons, there are a lot of weapons I have tested out for her. And the one that I find to be the most well-rounded is going to be the Black Sword. Of course, it is the best weapon for an Electro build Kaching currently besides the Summit Shaper, which is a better weapon if you're looking to go Go into her but you do need geo resonance or kind of a kind of shield in order to make that work better now the black cliff sword is the best option for free to play players specifically fully free to play if you are fully free to play the black cliff long sword is the best for an electro build kaching as in if you spend zero dollars in the game black is the best way to go if you're able to get another weapon like the Aquila Favonia or something like that on your overall account or the Skyward Blade, yes, those weapons are better for electrical and physical builds. Please use those weapons specifically. Now, if you are going to be using Kaching's Black Sword build, this is a good build for both electro and physical builds and is a very strong build in general. So please, of course, use those two weapons as a primary focus. However, if you're thinking about using a prototype Rancor for a physical build, I still would recommend the Black Sword over the prototype Rancor if you have the option. And if you do want to use it, the Black Lift Longsword for an Electro build. Now, a lot of people have asked me, of course, about the Festering Desire in general. It's a good weapon, specifically for an E build for Kaching, but not that great. For artifacts, there are three different ways to go for Kaching. You either go with a physical build, you go to an Electro build, or you go with an Electro particle build and this is my electro particle build on kaching called the thunder soother set the thunder soother set is going to increase damage that i deal on characters that have an electro um, uh, element on them if they have electro element i do 35 percent more damage from any type of ability now this actually works for both a physical build kaching and an electro build kaching but unfortunately when you're using this build with a physical build you don't really get the best things out of it because you can get a little bit more out of other artifact sets and i'll be going over those in this video uh, for the, the overall damage on my overall artifacts, I do not have the best artifacts in the world, though, but I do have okay stats on artifacts, and it gives me a total of 50% critical chant rate as well as 180% critical damage. Uh, the other thing to note is I have 46% electro damage on top of this with my electro cup, and I'm not getting extra electro damage on top of that because the extra damage that I'm getting on my overall kit is directly from the Thunder Soother set. The Thunder Soother set providing that 30% damage is very, very nice. Now, if I was going to be going into a different artifact build which one would i go with well a lot of people ask me about other electro car uh, electro builds and specifically for kaching for kaching if you wanted to build her for electro you can go with three different options the first option is going to be with a noble slbs two set and the other option is going to be a thundering fury both of these builds are uh, both these artifacts together are exceptional when you're trying to boost electric kaching's ultimate damage it does a lot of damage now the other thing with this is the thundering fury set can also be paired with a very popular set which is the most common set in the game to be using for a lot of characters which is the gladiators finale now the gladiators finale is a perfect option for people who are looking to build electric kaching boost set the normal attacks the charge attacks as well as the the ultimate ability equally and that will give you a very well rounded build in general because you don't have a large amount of attack percentage on your overall kit the gladiators finale will actually provide a very large amount of attack to your character and that will actually boost you in a very good way so using those two together is marginally better than the noble so bleach set for of course your e and your and your normal attack damage but the noble so bleach damage of course will boost the, the ultimate damage to a point that you might get a little bit more damage it really is going to depend on your talent level the amount of times you crit your crit chance ratio your crit damage ratio etc and those types of things it's really hard to tell you which one's better because it's so close now, the last thing you could do is a hybrid build with Kaching. It's going to be a two-piece Bloodstained Chivalry with a two-piece Thundering Fury. Now, this hybrid build with Kaching is really more built for physical Kachings, not so much for electric Kachings. So if you're looking for building a physical-based Kaching and just wanted to give damage to her and build out her overall kit, the most well-rounded build for a physical build and an electro build is going to be the Thundering Fury set paired with the Bloodstained Chivalry. 
Now, if you think both of these artifact sets are exceptional for Kaching, the answer is yes for the two-piece set bonus, but not so much for the four-set piece bonus. I have seen people use a Bloodstained Chivalry set and go all in on the charge attacks for the Kaching, but of course, trying to get a kill with the charge attacks first and then and then choose the charge attacks and try to use the four-face Bloodstained Chivalry, not the best. So going into Physical Ching, there are two different builds that a lot of people end up going with. The first one is going to be Bloodstained Chivalry as well as a Gladiator set. In my personal opinion, I don't really like going with this route in particular because you're getting an attack percentage boost and a physical damage boost, and it kind of works. But the issue, there are a lot of other issues that arise from the set, and you can actually lose out on damage or gain damage really depending on like how you look at things in overall damage and what your substats and stats are. And the reason that's kind of weird is because one of the best um, sets for boosting charge attack damage is going to be the Retracing Bolide set. The Retracing Bolide set, if you didn't know, increases your normal and charge attack gains on your damage by 40%, which is actually much greater than the 25% physical damage that you can receive from that and the 18% attack bonus that you can get. But the Retracing Bolide set, of course, is a very difficult set to utilize on Kaching because getting a shield up on Kaching with a Geo Resonance probably not to be the best way to go. So you're kind of stuck in this middle ground where you don't know where to go with Kaching for physical builds. And and most people end up going with a two-piece gladiator set as well as the bloodstained chivalry set so that you can boost your overall damage in the physical realm as high as possible you go with a physical cup on top of that to exacerbate the damage even further the last set people have asked me about is the hydro set for kaching and i i i, I don't know, like people just being weird at this point but should you use the hydro set no if you're gonna use any set just use the retracing bolide it makes way more sense but if you really wanted to Bruh. Now for talents for Kaching, how do you allocate your talents? Well, if you're going with a physical build, you want to go heavily into the normal attacks and charge attack region because that is the primary focus of your talents. For an electro build for Kaching, if you're going to be building for the Noblesse Oblige set, you definitely want to level up your ultimate ability first. That is much more much more important. And if you're going for a Thunder Soother build, what's really interesting is that your damage is actually well-rounded between the three different talents. So if you want to level up each of the talents individually evenly, that works fine as well. The Thunder Soother build is really, really interesting for both a physical and electro Kaching because you can actually build out your damage in a very positive way while not having to worry about building other sets. If you're looking for the overall artifact set that I find to be the best set for physical, the Thunder Soother set is one of the top ones that I would actually choose because it's going to be the easiest to use, which is super weird. So for a normal Kaching rotation, I usually use Shinchu with an Electro build for Kaching. I really like this kind of build because I can actually go in with Shinchu, get a Vaporize in right away, and then start up on my Kaching. Now this creates Electro Charge reactions and that allows me to do lots of damage against the enemy and get lots of hits in. Unfortunately though, the big problem with Kaching is that she's really heavily reliant on using Electro Charge damage uh, in this type of reaction, which does not do the best, but it can kill enemies very, very quickly. Let's go to the Fizz artifact. All right, so now I'm going to put this Fizz artifact that I have on another character over to my Kaching and try to boost the damage a little bit. So we're going to switch to a physical build with Thunder Soothers. So we start off with this E from Kaching, switch over, get the superconducting, and then come back with this. Now, if you start in with the Electro, if you go with a double E on Kaching, unfortunately what happens is you get this double E proc on enemies and then you're not able to get your damage up. So one of the ways that I'm able to use Kaching in a really smart way, let me with this Electro Particle end, is of course, I'm going to go in with the E here, switch over to Kaya come back and then use the charge attack and it creates the electro reaction now i get the particle reaction and i have physical up for the the overall physical builds the other thing i don't really like so much is like when i'm using kaching having to switch over to a character to superconduct is not really my favorite especially against heavy fizz resist enemies but keeping the electro particle up on the enemy is very not difficult to do at least because of how short the cooldown is so you can get lots of damage in on a lot of characters and you can switch over to your ultimate whenever you need to I just find the V the Electro build to be more fun and in general because it's more mobile and I don't have to worry about a lot of extra things. Physical Shing is really, really good. I just don't prefer it. All right, so now we're switching over completely to a different artifact set. We're gonna be my, using my Zhangling artifacts on my Kaching, and I'm at 64% crit chance as well as 883% crit damage, so pretty similar to where I was at before. And uh, for Fizz damage, you can see I'm boosted by the Fizz Cup, and we're gonna go in on Kaching for the next one over here, but the difference between Thunder Soother for the overall set versus the uh, Gladiator and uh, Bloodstained set. We go in, boom, use the Kaya, and then we're gonna go back and boom. So here's the Gladiator and Bloodstain set. We're hitting for about the same damage initially. 5,600, 5,600, 600. And I don't have to keep the particle up, so it's a lot easier to like deal with the build. Okay, boom. You can see it's a little bit higher for charge attacks. 
you get much higher damage by using the the fizz and gladiator set versus the thunder soother set for physical because it's because of how you can do the rotations i find that to be a really good way to go but one of the things that you lose out on is your electro damage so with the thunder soother set my electro damage pretty much remained the same i didn't lose too much but you can see my electro damage overall goes way down when i'm using the physical gladiator set my personal thought is because like with using the thunder soother set in general this overall artifact set allows you to do a hybrid style build in a way easier fashion whether you want to go with a physical build or an electro build and allows you to switch between the two builds very very easily if you need to unfortunately though it does very very poorly against slimes or characters with innate elements that do not have removable elements and electro build ka-ching is not really the best option for those but if you're fighting electro slimes you have a really easy time with physical ching especially if you just all you have to do is switch one artifact now in general for electro ka-ching and physical ka-ching both of the builds have one thing in common that's really annoying it is stamina and this guy won't stop shooting me it's fine just don't look at him he won't he'll be fine just just don't look, just don't look, it'll be fine, see? So for artifacts, there's a, as you can see, there's a lot of different ways that you can go. But for overall team build compositions for Kaching, I've done a lot of different ones. And one of my favorite, one of my favorite characters to pair with Shin Chu, is, uh, with Kaching and Shin Chu for an electro-based build. Uh, for a, a physical build, Kaya does very well, Chi Chi does very well. Both of those characters are amazing for Kaching. They're both great supporting units. Uh, I just find Shin Chu to be a really, really fun option for an electro based build for boosting my overall damage. The other thing you can do is use pyro characters if you want to in order to boost your damage in a positive direction. Uh, just get lots of damage from the resonance and get some damage from overloads, which is really, really good. So, one of the teams I actually roam around with the most is going to be that team you saw first, which is going to be the electro build Kaching with uh, Shin Chu, Zhang Ling, as well as Bennett. The reason I use this team all all the time is because it actually deals with almost every situation in the entire game except for electro shield the only situation i get to trouble is electro shield with chewy and uh everything else in the game i can be fine with i have overload reactions of course with zheng ling and bennett with kaching i'm able to use uh kaching to break down the uh the water shields really quickly or pyro characters to bring down really quickly i have a physical damage carrier in my zheng ling and allows me to just move around really really easily with an electro based build so that's why i kind of preferred electro kaching the mobility is more fun etc and the, the character kit is just I find to be better. So my personal recommendation for Kaching is a Thunder Soother set if you're going for an Electro build because it's just way more fun to keep the Electro Particle up all the time and it gives you a nice added layer of gameplay. But if you're looking for a really easy overall Kaching build and looking to have more of a brain dead experience and have uh, just an easy time playing the character, the physical build is really good, but the Noble Last set with the Thundering Fury set is probably the easiest possible set to use both of those things together is great you can either use the thundering fury and the gladiator set it's a very easy set to use you don't have to worry about a lot of things and it there has no negatives on them but I, personally if you want the most possible damage out of your electro builds and try to use them really really good in this direction i prefer the thunder set. The last thing we're going to talk about is five star weapons just really briefly uh for physical based builds aquila favonia is the number one and the, if you want to know what the best one for the electro is it's going to be probably the summit saber skyward blade i would believe would be really good with a physical build kaching i haven't actually tried it yet specifically because that's kind of weird but if i was going to be using a skyward blade i would probably be using the thunder soother style set with the electro build kaching and that would be probably the best way to go you could also go with a physical build if you wanted to and that the energy recharge of the weapon and all the ways that the character kit works would be really really fun to use with the thunder the thunder Soother set for this five star weapon but for four star weapons we already went over so hope you guys enjoy it. and if you're wondering about other weapons that you could potentially use for kaching um the other weapons that are out there the lion's roar i don't really prefer because it is an attack percentage based role not really my favorite option for for a character like kaching uh, we got Iron Sting, not again, uh, not one of my favorite options either. Flute is pretty good for physical ching, but as a, again, the two best weapons which are really easy to obtain are the Black Lip weapon for free to play players and the Black Sword for people that are buying the Battle Pass and Welcome. But that's going to do it for this video. My name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you guys have a great rest of your day.